Hello, and welcome back to a very special episode of The Only Joe. I'd like to take a brief moment to thank all the viewers, subscribers, and people that comment on my videos. You guys have helped make 2020 a little easier. Big thanks to everyone. Let's go ahead and roll that title. Today we are going to be walking through a front case fan and push-pull radiator mod of the Alienware R11. A full part list is posted in the video description. For this mod, we are using 120mm non-RGB Corsair Pro fans. They must be the Corsair Pro fans, as the non-Pro fans and other brands will cause the R11 to throw up a BIOS boot error. Let's dive right in and open this baby up. Remove that back screw side panel, open the PSU hinge, and get ready to remove that graphics card. To remove the GPU, we simply lift up the GPU bracket and remove the power cables. Next, Press the PCIe retention pin until you hear the click and lift the GPU straight up out of the case. Try to avoid rocking the card out. Disconnect the front case fan connector and press down on the retention clip holding the fan case housing. The front fan is held in this nifty little casing with retention clips. Simply press the clips out of the way and the fan comes right out with the new fan going in easy peasy. Pay special attention to the cable orientation of the fan as this bracket has this little cable clip. I'm going to unplug this SATA connector to give me some room to work. and the fan bracket is installed with no problem. Give the bracket a good wiggle to make sure it is properly seated and secure. And be sure to re-plug in the SATA connector. We now plug the new fan into the motherboard have to do something about this long cable. I've used a 4 inch zip tie to zip it to the SATA cable and clip the excess with some scissors. Next we reinstall the GPU, reattach the GPU bracket and make sure it is firmly seated. Don't forget your power connectors. Ta-da! We now have replaced the front case fan. Warning! This next mod is difficult and may void your warranty. Attempt this mod at your own risk. To mod the radiator, we have to remove the top of the case. The best place to lift is right here at the back. Simply lift up, move along the edge, and finally lift the top all the way off. Next, we have to remove these four screws that hold the radiator in place. Let me take this time to mention what an awesome tool a magnetic bowl is to hold all of your little metal parts and screws. They're cheap, go buy one. Now remove the motherboard power and fan headers. Thank you. 
I've also marked two additional screws with red X's that must also be removed. To remove the AIO, the water block must be removed from the CPU. If you look closer at the MOBO, you will see the numbers one through four, which tell you which order to torque the screws. The radiator can now be safely removed from the case. Pay special attention to not knock those silver VRM heat sinks when removing and reinstalling the radiator. It's now time to get messy and play with some thermal paste. Lens or alcohol wipes work great for removing thermal paste and are electronic safe. Thermal paste must always be reapplied whenever a heat sink is removed. Remember that the CPU must also be cleaned and prepared for a new thermal application. Time to get to work on the AIO by removing that old noisy fan. If you ever get confused by air intake on Corsair fans, just remember that logo side without the product number is the side that sucks air in. This is our push fan, so it goes on like so. We cannot clear the VRMs with both fans on the radiator, so we have to put the pull fan in the case by itself. Pay special attention to the orientation of the fan cable as it is placed in the case. I have also removed the RAM sticks to have extra room to work. I have here some 1 and 1 quarter inch number 6 screws that we will screw in from the top of the case to the radiator. Lining this up is tricky and might take an attempt or two to get the alignment correct. Here is what it will look like from the top down with all the screws in place. It's now time to break out our Arctic MX4 thermal compound. A pea-sized amount of thermal paste does the trick. I like to spread it over the CPU, and I expect to get comments from people telling me I'm doing it wrong. At last, we can retorque the screws according to the numbers on the motherboard. A simple Y-splitter will be used to connect both of the new fans. Don't forget to reconnect your motherboard power and water block power too. Button everything back up and you're done. Woohoo! I've used some more zip ties to tuck the excess cabling out of the way in the upper front corner of the case. I'm running a 5.1 GHz overclock with a 1.26 undervolt. Under normal web browsing and productivity work, this case is pretty much silent. The fans do pick up speed when the R11 is under load, but are no longer loud and obtrusive. I can easily gain without headphones, and the fan noise fades into the background of the room. The CPU also runs cooler, with the 10700K rarely getting above 60C even under load. Overall, I'm happy with this mod. The case runs quieter and it runs cooler. Really, what more could you ask for? If you learned something today, don't forget to like or subscribe. I'm the only Joe. Thanks for watching.